Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some mustard fried chicken that's going to be extra crispy and flavorful. So I got my chicken here already in the bowl, cleaned with some vinegar and water and patted dry. And I got my basic seasonings here. The key ingredient here is to make sure that you have some mustard. That's going to be your main seasoning for this. So you don't want to overpower it with too many different types of seasoning. So what I'm going to do is start off by seasoning it with some black pepper and however much you like is what you will be using. Seems like a lot, but it's not because I want to make sure when, when I mix it, it's everywhere. Some onion powder. All right, go ahead with some, some garlic powder. Going to leave these open because we will be using them for our uh, flour. We're going to season our flour as well. Some seasoned salt. And also, what I like to use, you know, when I'm making fried chicken is some chicken bouillon, the powdered one. So I'm going to use actually a couple of tablespoons of this. I should do. I'll leave that on top of there. So what I'm going to do is mix the seasonings in before I add the mustard to it. All right. So as you can see, it's well seasoned. Now we're gonna hit it with our mustard. And remember, guys, this is mustard fried chicken, so be you know a little generous with the mustard, and it's not gonna taste like the mustard at all. All right. I should do. There's so many different ways you can fry some chicken, man. Different, you know, things to season it with. So many different styles to frying it. So many different ways to create like a, a text, uh, crispy texture. But on this channel, I'm gonna show y'all whatever I know about creating all the ways of getting some good fried chicken. All right, that's about it. So what I'm gonna do now is let this rest and marinate for a little bit, for about a half an hour before I start frying. So I'm gonna cover this up and we're gonna season our flour so that can be set aside and chilling out for the time being. Alright guys, so before we do our flour mixture, I forgot to add the paprika. So I'm going to do that right now. Can't forget that. I was so disappointed. <laughs> that should do. So I'm going to mix that up. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna cover it and we can get to the flour. All right, guys, so let's do our flour. So I probably got about two cups of flour in here and you wanna make sure you got a bowl big enough so that you can have space around because what I'm going to be doing is shaking our chicken up in that bowl to create some flakes. So, you know, it can provide that extra crispiness and perfect look. Or you can use a paper bag, plastic bag, whatever it is you want to use, but make sure you have a bowl big enough. So I got about two cups of uh, flour in here, about a half a cup of cornstarch. And I'm going to be using the same seasonings that I already used to season the chicken, but except the mustard, and I'm adding uh, something extra. So I'm going to add that black pepper. And you always want to add your black pepper to your breading mix so you can see those specks of pepper. And, you know, it also creates some flavor. That was the black pepper. Here's the onion powder. And with this seasoning salt, you want to kind of be light with that because remember the chicken is already very flavorful. So you don't want to have salty chicken. So 
the powders are fine. You could use however much you know you want with that. But when it comes to the uh, seasoning salt, you want to be careful. And I'm gonna add the paprika at this point because I don't want to forget again. I hate when this happens. That's cool. Now, a little bit of seasoning salt because I'm going to be using another one. Boom, I'm going to be using this. It's not on the chicken, it's just in the, uh, the flour mix. All right. And a tad bit of this uh, chicken bouillard. Add a bit more. All right, you want to get this mixed up. You can see, you can see that this is definitely well seasoned because of the color. It's no longer white. It's like a pale pinkish color. You can also taste your flour to make sure it's salted enough. Alright y'all, let's get this chicken breaded up. Our oil is just about ready. We've been pre-eating for some time now. So I'm going to drop a few pieces in. should do. I'm going to cover it a little so the top of my bowl doesn't get the chicken residue on there. And right, that's good enough. Right, let me put the top on. I'm going to shake that up. So what you want to do is shake off the excess flour. All right, I'm going to shake the rest of these off. Then we're going to head over to our oil. All right, so we're going to check to see if our oil is ready to drop this chicken. I'm just going to drop a little bit of flour in there. Once you see that bubble up, you know we are good to go. So here are the pieces that are floured. I just kind of let them rest on there so the flour could adhere to the chicken so I won't kill my oil with too much excess flour. So I'm going to drop some in. Ooh. All right, y'all. That's going to be some good chicken up in here. Remember, don't overcrowd your pan or your pot or your deep fryer, whatever it is you're using. So I'm going to let those go and I'll be back when those are done. These are ready to come out. They're fried to perfection. Check that out. Alright, so I'm going to place these on a cooling rack. Here's how they look. All right, I'm going to drop this next batch in, and we'll be done, guys. Do this. Let's do this. All right. And I did the same thing. I floured them. 
and the seasoned flour you saw earlier. Shook them up in the bowl. And let them rest so the flour can stick to it. Oh, baby. One more, one more. All right, guys. I'll be back when it's all done. All right, that second batch. All right, this second batch is definitely done. Look at how perfectly fried these are. All right, so I'm going to take these out. Put them on to the cooling rack with the first batch. We're going to try some of these. Look at that. Look how these wings are looking. Nice, crispy, ready to be eaten by me. All right, so let's try this one out. That is good. Mm. Guys, I definitely recommend that you try this recipe. This chicken is flavorful, nice and moist, and it's very crunchy. A crispy, whatever you want to say. <laughs> it is amazing. So guys, hopefully you are able to watch the entire video. I'm appreciative of it. And... Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more recipes. So I'll see you in the next video.